Okay, so the Cyclops, it's an already amazing vehicle on its own, especially considering that, you know, it's from the base game and whatnot. But in this video, I would like to take the Cyclops and transform it into something way better with the power of, uh, I believe we have 11 mods. It might be 12. I, 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 th I think it's 11. With that being said, let's get on to our first mod. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do to upgrade our Cyclops, we're going to give it weapons. So the first mod we're going to be looking at is going to be the Cyclops Laser Cannon Module Mod, which adds a new little module that you can build for your Cyclops. We head over to our upgrade fabricator and we go to all right so we go to mod items and then we see there is a new little icon right here cyclops laser cannon and we're just gonna make this it is a little bit expensive to make actually now once you have your cyclops laser cannon installed if you look on the outside of your cyclops you can actually see it yep there it is right there it sits right underneath these little engines it looks nice and it is a little bit small you know because when you hear laser cannon you probably think of something like super large but it's a little bit smaller, but you know, that's okay. The actual like model itself is essentially the prawn suit torpedo arm module, except it's got like a nice little precursor isk theme to it. All right, so we're gonna test this mod out on this little Reaper Leviathan over here. Well, I guess it's not little, but you know, you get the gif. You get the gif, what? Yeah, you get the gist of what I'm saying. So whenever you have this module installed, you can see it, it's in the top right, and you just click on it like so. Let me turn this on so I can see. And you can shoot it from the bottom, you can look behind yourself all the way, it's got like a nice little 360 camera, although you can't look up though, so you're gonna have to, yo, Reef, I was about to call him Reef Bang, can this Reaper get up off me? The only problem with this laser cannon is, again, because it's underneath your Cyclops, you're gonna have to angle it a little bit weirdly to actually be able to hit things with it, because you can't hit something that's like dead ahead of you. You're gonna have to be a little bit above it. Okay, that's one hit. That's two hits. Oh, he's oh the Reaper's done. <laughs> he took two hits and he was out of here. What the heck? Lights out for Reaper. All right, so it took two, three hits, I think. Hit him twice, and that's it. Okay, so he, he gets two shotted by these laser cannons. These things are pretty powerful. If you're using it like in like a survival based, you know, playthrough, I probably wouldn't use the laser cannon considering how freaking powerful this thing is. It's essentially gonna make your Cyclops a little bit too too overpowered unless you're like doing like a playthrough just for fun or whatever i wouldn't recommend using the laser cannon because it may like mess up the balance of your game and whatnot considering how strong it is but still a cool mod nonetheless and with that let's move on to our next mod all right so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be another upgrade mod called the cyclops speed upgrade mod so what it does it adds a new upgrade module to your cyclops fabricator so if we head over here head down to more cyclops upgrades which is going to be the third one if you have all these mods installed and right here we're going to see the cyclops speed boost module increases the drive power of the cyclops blah, 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 blah. okay so whenever you have your speed booster modules in here you're going to see some stats like on the little icon right here so we can see it says speed 135 percent and then it shows engine negative 25 percent and then noise plus four percent it's going to make your cyclops louder but it's also going to you know make it drain energy faster so do keep that in mind I mean, I'm seeing a little difference. I, I can feel the difference just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness. This thing is zooming. Okay. I can't wait to see what that six speed looks like, Loki. Let's go on and switch. All right. So the third speed, you can definitely feel the difference. 82% energy drain. So you are going to need, this thing is going to guzzle power cells like no tomorrow if you have all six installed at once. All right. Let's see. I did not mean to blow the horn. All right. Let's go with the slowest speed. This is, <laughs> this is the slowest. We're on the slowest setting right now for the Cyclops. This is just insane. All right, let's put it on the second highest. Or not second highest, but the second speed. Going even faster now. And then let's go at the highest speed possible. I kind of wish I had a better area to drive this round in because I'm like bumping into everything. But we can definitely see that the speed of the Cyclops is way, way faster. I hear a Reaper Leviathan. Why is there a Reaper out here? The speed is way, way faster. I mean, I'm, I'm freaking zooming around here. But yeah, that was the Cyclops speed boost module mod. We can, we all saw how freaking fast the Cyclops is able to go. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. All right, so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Cyclops engine upgrades mod. So what this mod does, it adds some, as you would imagine, some new Cyclops engine upgrades to your game. It improves upon the already existing energy efficiency module. I said energy, what? Engine efficiency module for your Cyclops that you find on the Aurora by giving you two more versions of it. So if you head over to the modification station and then we look at more Cyclops upgrades, we can see we have a engine efficiency module Mark II and then engine efficiency module Mark III kind of steep as well because it requires an iron cube and nickel additional enhancement the engine efficiency silent running sonar and shield optimized does not stack with other engine upgrades so let's just do the mark 3 one just because so another thing to keep in mind you can have both the mark 1 engine efficiency module on and you can also have you know the mark 2 or mark 3 
because although it says it does not stack with other engine upgrades, you can still stack it with the Mark 1 module, but you can't stack like the Mark Mark 3 module and the Mark 2 module together. So just keep that in mind. Now aside from just giving you more engine efficiency overall, the upgrades, like the engine efficiency upgrades actually give you more benefits compared to the Mark 1 one. So if we look at the Mark 3, it gives you extra efficiency towards silent running, sonar, and whenever you have your shield on. Well, likely meaning that whenever you have those like things activated, it's not gonna drain nearly as much power as it used to. All right, so let's hit the, so we're at 84% right now. So let's just turn on the shield. So it drained it by 4% and we hit it again. It's gonna do 76. All right, so the shield drains by 4% every time you turn it on. All right, so we're currently at 76 power right now, so we're gonna turn on our shield generator. Now it's gonna drain by 4%. So the default shield drain, whenever you have it on, is four power per few seconds and whatnot. So now that we have our engine efficiency on, let's see how much it drains now. Uh, let's see, so we're at 68%, so we're gonna click it. Uh, it only went down by only went down by one but it is still something so instead of draining four power it's going to drain three instead which isn't that big of a difference you know if we're really really talking about it but it is still something so we still gonna mention it just because you know we save some power instead of no power you know what i'm saying so yeah with that we can move on to our next mod so our next upgrade module mod for our Cyclops is going to be the Cyclops Beacon Deployer mod. So here we have our deployable beacon module, allows beacons to be deployed from the Cyclops tube. So we're just gonna make this. Now that we have that little upgrade module installed, we can open our little decoy tube right here, and then we should be able to put a beacon inside. Yep, there we go. We can put both beacons and decoys in and now, so that's cool. So now if we look to the right, we're gonna see our creature decoy countermeasures right here, which we would you know click if we had like a regular decoy tube in there. But above it, we can also rename the beacon. So if we click here and let's just do uh, amazing things, now hit space or enter, whatever. So our beacon is titled amazing things. So whenever we launch our beacon, we can just press this. There it goes. And now we have a beacon just launched out just like that. I really like this mod because of how convenient it is. You know, it allows you to deploy your beacon from the comfort of the inside of your Cyclops instead of having to constantly get in and out of it to drop a beacon you also don't have to put yourself in harm's way to rename your beacon because if you have to drop the beacon in like a dangerous biome or something you know you're gonna have to go out inside you're gonna have to click on the beacon then you have to type in like what you want on the beacon which creatures can still attack you while you're doing so you can rename your beacon and launch it out all from within your cyclops all right so the next mod on today's list is going to be the automatic vehicle repair mod which is going to give your cyclops a new module that you can build within it and you can also, this also applies to all your other vehicles like the Seamoth and the Prawn suit, but I'm only covering the Cyclops, so that's what we're gonna be looking at. So we're gonna head over to the Cyclops Upgrade Fabricator, go to Mod Items, and then we can see we have the Repair Drone module right here, equips the submarine with a helpful repair drone that ventures out to fix leaks. Okay, so it's important to note that the repair drone will not deploy from your Cyclops if you are currently piloting it. So the reason that my Cyclops is not repairing itself right now is because I am in the pilot seat. So all we're going to do is we're going to hop out and it says repair drone engaged at the top and it's going to seal the little breaches on the Cyclops, which is super okay. Just phase through my Cyclops, I guess. I guess that's a, that's a part of the repair process, I guess. Um, okay. Anyways, this is a nice little mod. Also another mod that helps add a nice little level of convenience to your Subnautica game as it'll, you know, keep you from having to go outside and use your actual repair tool. And with that, we can move on to our next, and I think our last mod. All right, and our last mod on today's list is going to be the Cyclops Sonar Enhancement Mod. So what this mod does is it enhances the sonar that your Cyclops has. So let's just switch this out. All right, so now that we have our sonar upgrade installed, if we head over here. So in the regular base game of Sonautica, when you turn on your sonar, on the right-hand side of your screen, you'll just see this like little icon over here as we're looking at right now. This will just stay exactly the same whenever you have your sonar on. However, with the Cyclops Sonar Enhancement Mod, whenever you turn on your sonar now, let me click it, that little screen on the right-hand side is going to change, and it's actually going to give us a nice little map, nice little mini-map of the terrain around us. Now, it can be a little bit hard to see because the sonar does, like, light everything up in red, and then if you look to the right, it's a little bit... I mean, like, the green makes it a little easier to see, but it can still be... You know, just a little bit of a pain to look at since the sonar makes everything around you so bright but still really really cool mod nonetheless y'all i know y'all see this reaper the way he's just like on me bro he will not let let go and it's actually going to be the last mod on our list for today for our cyclops mods i don't know what i just said but yeah other than that that is about all i had for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one peace